As a half black, half Filipino man, you can say that I'm an expert when it comes to fried chicken. So trust me when I say that Nashville hot chicken is the greatest fried chicken you will ever eat in your entire life. Straight facts, no cap, rest in peace Korean fried chicken. So we're gonna make Nashville hot chicken and we're gonna do it in a calorie friendly way. So enough talk and let's do this thing. So for today's recipe, I am using bone-in chicken breast. Now, I highly recommend using bone-in chicken, but that is not a requirement. There are no requirements at the cookout. Do whatever you want and just have fun with it. So the first part of any fried chicken recipe is the wet batter. And our wet batter only has four ingredients. So this leads us into the very first diet hack for this recipe, which is substituting the buttermilk with Fairlife fat-free milk. This stuff is insane. It has 80 calories and 13 grams of protein per cup. And I use it for almost anything that needs milk. Even if it doesn't need milk, I'll use it. It is my go-to for when I'm on a cut. So add in about a cup and a half of milk or enough to completely cover the chicken. One large egg, hot sauce of your choice. I'm choosing habanero because I like it spicy, spicy but add as much or as little as you like. And a glug of vinegar. So normally pickle juice is used in the marinade instead of white vinegar. Me personally, I do not like the taste of pickles at all. So that's why I'm using white vinegar. But if you like pickles, then I would say use about a quarter of a cup to half a cup, depending on how much pickle flavor you want. Then we whisk our ingredients and put our chicken into the mixture and refrigerate for a few hours or overnight. Okay, so the first part in any fried chicken recipe is the dry batter. And today I'm going to be using this embarrassing piece of equipment. It's called the Batter Pro. This is completely unnecessary. Do not buy this if you do not have it. Just use the wet hand, dry hand method or the brown paper bag method like your grandma used to use. All you're trying to do is get flour onto your chicken. For the dry batter, all you need is flour and salt. Next, take your chicken and cover it in flour with whatever chosen method. Then put the chicken in a second coat of wet and dry batter. This is so we make sure we get tons of crunch and texture on our fried chicken. Next, get some neutral oil. I'm using canola oil, but use what you like. Heat up the oil until it reaches about 350 degrees and then drop the chicken in. The oil will drop to about 325 degrees, but that's to be expected. Just keep the temperatures maintained at 325 for about 20 to 23 minutes or until the internal temp reaches at least 165. Put the chicken on a rack to let the excess oil drip off. Okay, so now it's time to make our Nashville hot oil, which is the key ingredient to turn fried chicken into Nashville hot chicken. You can add whatever spices you like to your Nashville hot chicken oil, but what is mandatory is you need cayenne pepper and brown sugar, which leads me into my second diet hack, which is using swerve brown sugar instead of regular brown sugar. Also, you're looking for a ratio of about 50% spice to 50% oil. Now we're gonna dunk our chicken in the oil. I like to dunk the chicken because I want it to be drenched in hot oil because that's how the chicken gets its flavor. If you wanna know the exact ingredients of how I spice my oil, check out the description below. Now, before we plate up, I have to give you my third and final diet hack for this recipe, and that's to make low calorie sides. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to make them, so consider this a bonus. To make our coleslaw, take 3 fourths of a cup of fat-free Greek yogurt, half a lemon squeeze, two tablespoons apple cider vinegar, two tablespoons warm honey, one teaspoon Dijon mustard, a fourth of a teaspoon of celery salt, a fourth of a teaspoon of onion powder, a fourth of a teaspoon of salt, and a fourth of a teaspoon of pepper. Mix that together until smooth, and then fold in a 10 ounce bag of coleslaw. Personally, I think this tastes better if made the night before, but it will stay good in your fridge for at least a couple of days. For the waffle, get a protein shaker cup or a blender and add in one egg, one scoop of vanilla casein whey protein powder, a fourth of a teaspoon of vanilla extract, a pinch of salt, a couple of shakes of cinnamon, and just a tiny splash of milk or water. Right, this is the most important step in the waffle making process. If you add too much moisture to your batter, your waffle maker will erupt and it will send hot globs of hot waffle mix all over your kitchen. So again, just a splash of water or milk. Spray your waffle maker with cooking spray and once it's hot and ready, pour in your batter into the hot iron. Close it up and flip until it's ready. Make sure you stay close by because the iron is very hot so the waffles can burn very easily. Okay, 
So I actually didn't film myself making the macaroni and cheese because I simply didn't have enough time. But I am planning to make a macaroni and cheese recipe video next Sunday. So consider subscribing so you don't miss out. And there you have it. Nashville hot chicken, full spread. We got macaroni and cheese, coleslaw, Nashville hot chicken, and a beautiful waffle. All of this is 1150 calories, 104 grams of protein. Not only can we eat barbecue on a cut, we can even eat fried chicken on a cut. So I'm really excited to eat this. I'm absolutely starving. So I'm gonna go ahead and dig into this. And I'll let you guys know what I think from the first bite. There's our beautiful chicken. All right. Okay. Hmm. Um. Got the macaroni and cheese. All right, let's try the coleslaw. Hmm. These two right here are the perfect pair. The hot from the chicken. Cooled down by the coleslaw. Mmm, beautiful. All right, I'm gonna try the waffle. Mmm. Mm. <laughs> Chicken and waffles, baby. Greatest duo of all time. Chicken and waffles, hands down. Oh my gosh. Well, anyway, thanks for tuning in. I'm gonna go ahead and just polish all this stuff. I know you guys probably don't wanna see me um, make more of a pig of myself than I already have. So, later guys.